Ladies and gentlemen, can I say this building is safe now for our workers, safe for our community, safe for all of us, and that is the primary reason why we have a building like this. The primary reason is because of the safety of our community and the safety of our staff, and that is paramount. And I said at the time when we made the decision, and I just want to acknowledge my councillors who made that decision, it wasn't an easy decision. Because anybody that builds buildings during an election usually is not very successful. So I just want to acknowledge that through facts and figures and reports from engineers and geotechs that they have advised us that this is this, the decision we should make. Also, we have the experience of Christchurch, where buildings have collapsed because of earthquakes, and we have had earthquakes here in Gisborne. And what made it easier for me to say, what happens if someone did have an unfortunate accident in our old building? So it was an easy decision. May I congratulate all that have been involved, Nadine. Thank you for your guidance and our previous chief executive in terms of all the work that they have put in to make sure that the building is fit for purpose. Acknowledge all the staff. We have been a separated family for a long time, for many years. And it's great to be back again, because over the years I have lost contact with you, and I apologise for that, because we're in seven different places. But today we're a family again, back together under one roof. So thank you, and I hope to see you all back under one roof very soon. Can I just make a comment about the tree? Many people have said to cut down that redwood sequoia tree, but I had a visit from um, Mr. Solvander about 12 years ago. He informed me that the tree was planted by his grandfather, Captain Solvina, uh, Solvina and um, he had planted the tree here and they had their house here. And the reason why this is distorted, because as you know, a redwood actually grows true and tall, is because over the road in the army hall, the army hall used to be closer to the road and it actually caught on fire. And it burnt, the tr burnt down, but the flames actually singed the tree, and hence its um, appearance that it is like this today. But it is a symbol that it has many arms and legs, that stretches out to the whole of the Tairawhiti and that we work together as a community to facilitate the hopes and dreams of our community. So, just want to say welcome. Welcome to our wonderful place. I'm very proud of this wonderful building. I just want to acknowledge um, Derek and his team of advisors in terms of their facilitation and at the very beginning, even before the lines are drawn, that the input of having Tairawhiti Kōrero in our buildings is very important. And I hope that if anybody else actually build, um, builds buildings, that they actually continue with the navigation and stories of our district, because that's what brings the richness of our kōrero to the rest of our communities here in New Zealand and to our visitors throughout the world. You are going to um, find a wonderful uh, workplace to our staff. I know that you've moved in already and some of you have only re recently moved in as of two days ago. But I hope that you find the enjoyment not only of the building but of all of you being together um, and working together is going to complement the wonderful wairua of this awarua. Tēnei te mihi ki a tātou o te kāinga nei ngā iwi ngā rangatira e haramai nei ki te tautoko o tātou pōhiri o tarā ki a tātou manuhiri ka nui tēnā. A tā hua rawa atu tō koutou mihi me ki ki a tātou uh, mōreu hoia anko rūtine ko tō hoa ko wharoona mai ki rā wahi e whawhai mā tātou. E mau mai te rangi māri e mā tātou o tēnei rā. Mua ke tonu, tātou tūmanako. We just want to acknowledge 
um, Rutine and all his colleagues who actually went to the various theatres of war. And they have fought for peace, harmony for all of us. And we enjoy this peace and harmony in our paradise right here in Aotearoa and more particularly our place here in the Tairawhiti. We just want to say thank you. Thank you to all the people that have fought and given their lives as we remember them in the many places of remembrance at Marae, at halls, at cenotaphs, and we see the run of names of young people, men and women, who have sacrificed or given the ultimate sacrifice to all of us. Ladies and gentlemen, I don't have much further to say, but I just want to say a big thank you to all of you. Um, a big thank you to GHL, Bob Proudfoot, um, Governor to Governor, for your support in facilitating the building of this building. Um, you and your team of Matt Feast and his team have done a fantastic job in getting on time, I understand, on budget. Thank you. That's what we like to hear. In fact, under budget and below time is better, but it's great that we arrived at this juncture. And you wouldn't have known that we were going to have an opening on the 15th of January because a lot of people said, oh, when you fellas going to move in? And I said, we're going to be moving in on the 15th. Ah, no, you're kidding me. But hey, to all the workers and the contractors that have done so much to get this to this day, we just want to say from the bottom of our hearts, thank you, thank you, thank you to our ministers. Hey, rā te mihi ki a koe, Chris, kōrua ko Michael, mō tō karaki o te rā nei, me ki tātei pautikanga Charlie, uh, Wipera, tēnā koe, tēnā koe. Te nā koutou. Nō reira, te nā koutou, te nā koutou, te nā tātou, katoa.